Welcome! In this video, we will demonstrate how to perform zero verification, how to perform zero calibration, and how to set low flow cutoffs using ProLink 3. For additional details, please reference the appropriate transmitter manual or contact Emerson Flow Support at 1-800-522-6277. Verifying the zero helps you determine if the stored zero value is appropriate to your installation, or if a field zero can improve measurement accuracy. The zero verification procedure analyzes the live zero value under the conditions of zero flow and compares it to the zero stability range for the sensor. If the average live zero value is within a reasonable range, the zero value stored in the transmitter is valid. Note, performing a field calibration will not improve measurement accuracy. Important. In most cases, the factory zero is more accurate than the field zero. Do not zero calibrate the meter unless one of the following is true. The zero is required by site procedures, or the stored zero value fails the zero verification procedure. Do not verify the zero or zero calibrate the meter if a high severity alert is active. Correct the problem, then verify the zero or zero calibrate the meter. You may verify the zero or zero calibrate the meter if a low severity alert is active. Flow cutoffs specify the lowest flow rate that will be reported as measured. All flow rates below this cutoff will be reported as zero. If the transmitter cutoffs are configured incorrectly, the transmitter may report zero flow when flow is present or very small amounts of flow under no flow conditions. There are separate cutoff parameters for mass flow rate, volume flow rate, gas standard volume flow rate, if applicable, and density. There is an independent cutoff for the milliamp output on your transmitter. The interaction between cutoffs sometimes produces unexpected results. At Emerson, we are committed to the highest standards of safety and quality for ourselves and our customers. Please take a moment to ensure that you are working in a safe area, abiding by all the applicable site procedures and codes, and that all required work permits have been issued. To perform a zero verification or zero calibration or adjust the low flow cutoff, you will need a transmitter that is equipped with a display and has this functionality, or to use a communication tool such as ProLink 3 or a heart communicator. This demonstration will show how to perform these operations using Emerson's free ProLink 3 software. First, we will show how to perform a zero verification and calibration. Step one is to allow the flow meter to warm up for at least 20 minutes after applying power. Step two is to run the process fluid through the sensor until the sensor temperature reaches the normal process operating temperature. Step three is to stop flow through the sensor by shutting the downstream valve and then the upstream valve if available. Step four is to verify that the sensor is blocked in, that flow has stopped, and that the sensor is completely full of process fluid. In ProLink 3, choose Device Tools, Configuration, Process Measurement, Flow, then record the flow cutoff for the desired variable and set it to zero. Evaluate current rate of desired variable using the dashboard gauges while sensor is blocked in. From ProLink 3, choose Device Tools, Calibration, Zero Verification, and verify zero. Wait until the procedure is complete. Observe the drive gain, temperature, and density readings. If they are stable, check the live zero or field verification zero value. If the average value is close to zero, you should not need to zero the meter. If the zero verification procedure fails, confirm that the sensor is completely blocked in, that flow has stopped, and that the sensor is completely full of process fluid. Verify that the process fluid is not flashing or condensing and that it does not contain particles that can settle out. Remove or reduce sources of electromechanical noise if appropriate. Repeat the zero verification procedure. If it fails again, zero calibrate the meter. Flow meters equipped with 800 enhanced core processors and the latest firmware allow for generation of zero verification and zero calibration reports. Next, we will set the flow cutoff for the desired variable. 
the default value for flow cutoffs are sensor-specific values set at the factory. The recommended value is 0.5% of the nominal mass flow rate of the attached sensor. Sensor nominal flow rates are listed in the appropriate product data sheet. From ProLink 3, choose Device Tool, Configuration, Process Measurement, and Flow. Enter the desired flow cutoff and click Apply. Flow cutoffs define the lowest value that the transmitter will report as measured. Values below the cutoff are reported as zero. Milliamp output cutoffs define the lowest flow rate that will be reported through the milliamp output. If the milliamp output process variable is set to a flow rate, for example, mass flow rate, the mass flow rate reported through the milliamp output is controlled by the higher of the two cutoff values. To avoid unexpected issues, the cutoffs are generally set to the same value. Although the recommended cutoff is 0.5% of the nominal flow rate, different applications may require higher or lower cutoff values to be used. This concludes the how-to video on how to perform zero verification and calibration and set a flow cutoff. For further assistance with this process, call Emerson Flow Support at 1-800-522-6277.